Greetings and salutations and welcome back to some more Unreal Engine 4 with me. And I've made some progress. I did something a little different as you can probably see down here. There's some other stuff. EQS. Hiding spot with a weird... Hmm. Yes. Today I sat down and watched a two hour video about using the uh, environmental query system. And boy! Is that interesting? But let's just look at what we've done. Well, first of all, I am going to hide from those two. Now, the last one you saw was the guy who, when he sees me, just chases me. So that's those two. All right, so that's our guy who just chases me. And then we've got this guy here who is going to be a stalker. He's going to run away and hide. But only for uh, only at a specific distance. What I want him to do is run away from the character, but follow the character. So I've only done one half of the logic for this guy, actually. He's doing currently doing the running away bit. I've got to go back and do the following bit, so I've got to get him to test how far away I am and follow me. Well, that's pretty easy, actually. That's a vector question. Anyway, so he's going to run off when he sees me. Like that. Yeah, there he goes. Bye-bye. And then he turns around to face the direction, the last direction he saw me. Well, actually, he turns 180. He's just set up to turn 180 degrees. So now he sees me, he's going to run off again, and this other guy is just annoying as heck. <laughs> I might turn him off. So there you go, he's turned to face the direction he came from. Not, not me, but the direction he came from. So if he goes through a door and hides in a room, he'll turn around and face the door, because that's where he came from, and that's where you would assume that your enemy would come from. So there he goes again, off he goes, blah, 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 So what I need to do is set up a, uh, set up a dampener so he doesn't turn, like, suddenly like that. Because it's, it's an instant rotation. There he goes, and he's off again, and he turn around. Problem is, it's, uh, I've got to change his field of vision because he's updating weight. Oh, heck, now they're all after me. Brilliant. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> These two are doing well. I've got a... Uh, he's set up to go to him. When he sees me. Oh, this guy's just going to get on my last nerve. <laughs> oh well. As a proof of concept, this is all perfectly well and good. So yeah, he's set up to go chase down the guard. What I need to do is set a switch on him that says, you know, when you find the guard, come back and find me. But I need the guard to go with him, so what I need to do is set up a... Yeah, I need to set up a script, so when he sees me, he notes my last known location. Or my last location. Yeah, my last known location to him. When he gets to the guard, he needs to transfer that location to the guard, and then they both need to come to that location. Makes sense? Makes perfect sense, doesn't it? How I'm going to implement it? Well, again, that's, that's just using vectors, and I can pass vectors through variables, so that should be pretty easy. And then I got this guy here. I need to set set him up. And then this guy, yeah, like I said, this other one is just going to chase me down. But that's that. So so how is that actually functioning? Well, this one's actually pretty tricky. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, first of all, this is how he's facing the enemy. Uh, well, actually, I guess technically I should show you this bit first. So there's the route. That's a selector. He either stands there and does nothing, or if he has spotted me, he runs this sequence. Uh, this calls the uh, environmental query. What is it, S? System? Structure? I don't know. Anyway, it runs uh, the EQS called Finding Hiding Spot. 
which it goes through and it finds the best one and it sends that to the blackboard key hiding spot. And then he moves to the hiding spot which has been set by the EQS and when he gets there he runs face enemy which is this thing. So all I do is I find the uh, current AI, get my current uh, personage, the pawn that's currently being controlled, uh, pass that on to this, the set rotation and then uh, I move through and I get the current rotation and then I just add 180 degrees to it. <laughs> That's it. And then always remember to finish your execute in these ones otherwise they just don't work. So uh, what's this thing here? Well first of all you gotta turn it on. I believe it's edit preferences and then under experimental I think there it is yeah uh, yeah system so you have to turn on the EQS in here and then uh, oh, I could turn that off actually and that turns on that that whole system for us so we can we can use that and we can make uh, this guy here which is the environmental query which <laughs> which runs these fantastic now we can set up the grid that we're going to use uh, and then we got this thing here so we the trace channel we're using is visibility so it's it's running a query based on the visibility and then we're running two distance passes to find the best suited uh, location to go to and that's all passed out uh, where is that passed out can't remember where that passes out. Anyway, it passes out somewhere. Oh, it, yeah, because it, it's running it, it passes out into the blackboard. Okay. And then that's my test pawn. So when I click on him, it updates my viewport and shows me what's going on. So when the game is running or when the system is running, it's doing it from the pawn. But for testing purposes, I can run it from here. And then if I hit play and pause, nope, nope, I gotta run play in simulate. And pause, there you go. Now you can see it running. See, now based on who's viewing it, well actually it's based on me, all these areas in blue are crap places to hide and all the areas in green are good places to hide. And also I've got the scoring going on pretty nifty huh so I can turn off that I can stop that and then if I just click off of that tester that all goes away and that's that that's that gets him going so basically all he does is stand there until he sees me and then he runs off and that's it